hi welcome back it's that time again it's time to make bread and today I am going to make several loaves of our basic French bread recipe all we're gonna make enough for the freezer um, to last us probably the month our ingredients are freshly grind whole white wheat flour and we're gonna use a little bit of sugar this is our non-GMO sugar. We have yeast and sea salt and water. That's it. That's all that's going in our dough. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by, I have two mixing bowls here, which means I'm going to make a double batch. And I'm going to start by scooping four cups of whole wheat flour into, this, into each container. I'm going to do the same for the next container. I am going to end up using more flour than just four cups, but four cups is a good starting point. So we have four cups of whole wheat flour here, and I'm going to use two tablespoons of sugar per batch. You can use honey and or um, brown sugar. You would use the same amount. That's my two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to add um, about a teaspoon and a half of salt in each batch. And this is just regular sea salt, the Redmond's variety. That's one half and a half. And as for the yeast, I am going to use about a tablespoon of yeast per batch. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix the dry ingredients together. And then I'm going to um, come back and add the warm water. Okay, I have about, I have a little over two cups of water in each container. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my water to my bowls and mix very well. Once I have about two cups, maybe a little less than two cups in each bowl, I'm going to add more flour in order to bring it up to consistency if needed. Okay, so right now I have my two doughs, and they are quite sticky as you can see. 
it's quite sticky, but that's perfect for me. That is perfect for what I'm doing. I am going to take this sticky dough that's not even coming together and I'm going to add a little bit of flour at a time, a little bit at a time, until I get it to the consistency that I like before putting it in the machine. about a tablespoon of flour to this and it's already making a big difference so I think I'm gonna stop for now until I get it into the machine and get it worked up now for the next one okay same thing with this one it's already looking much better. The next step for me is to go ahead and set up the bread machines. I have two bread machines that um, I've gotten over the years. I go through a lot of bread machines. I do not bake the bread in the bread machine. What I do is I use the bread machine to do all the heavy mixing for me. So I'm going to go set up the bread machines and I'm going to put each batch in a bread machine and let it go through the dough cycle twice. Okay, this is what I mean by letting the machine do the work. I have over here a bread machine, a turbo maker two bread machine and I have it on the, let me see if I can focus. Can't focus. <laughs> Okay, I have it on a white bread manual, and what it's doing is working the dough and kneading the dough for me. And that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to do all the hard work for me, and that dough will get all soft and supple and um, smooth, and we'll come back when it's done. I have this bread machine, and I have that other bread machine over there going, both doing the same thing. So I'll see you back here when the bread is ready. Okay, we're back. It's been 33 minutes in the machine. It's gone through two rounds of kneading. And this is our dough. It is smooth. It is stretchy. Just the way we want it. It's still a bit sticky, but we'll deal with that soon. So I'm going to go ahead and take this dough out of the machine and put it in a weld, in an um, oiled bowl and set it aside to proof. But um, before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of this bowl, put it on the countertop and knead it just for one minute with a little bit more flour. Okay, here we are. I have taken the dough, put it on my counter, added a little bit of all-purpose flour just for just for the purpose of it not sticking. I kneaded it for about a minute and now I am about to place my dough which is perfectly soft and wonderful. I'm about to place it in this bowl with a little bit of oil in the bottom. I'm going to put it in the bowl, roll it around and then I'm going to place a kitchen towel over it and sit it in a warm place to poof for about an hour to an hour and a half. So um, I'm going to do that to both those and then I'll be back when the dough has grown to double its size and we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, we are back. The dough, as you can see, has risen to the, almost the top. It has risen double its size. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to divide this dough into two, maybe three long baguette rolls. Um, they don't have to be perfectly shaped. But, um... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide this to, I think, two big loaves, maybe three. I'm not sure yet. And I'm going to put it on my prepared pan, which is just a baking sheet with a, um, one of those silk pad things on it. And I'm going to let... I'm going to cover that, let it rise until it's doubled in size. So I'm going to be back and show you how the doughs look when they're getting ready to set. 
now that the two doughs have been rolled out, I um, went ahead and divided them into two instead of three because I like the big loaves. So I have two in a pan. I'm going to do the same thing with the other bowl of dough that I have. And I'm going to cover these and let them rise until they're doubled in size. I'll be back to show you how they look before they get ready to go in the oven. The first baking sheet is ready. The bread has, the dough has doubled in size. And I have brushed a little bit of the leftover olive oil that was in the bottom of the pan from when the bread was rising. I didn't want to waste it, so I brushed it on top of the bread. Um, but these two loaves have doubled in size. They are ready to go in the oven. The oven is set at 375 degrees. And um, I'm going to put them in the oven and let them bake for about 20 minutes. I'll be back when they come out of the oven. I have the other pan with two loaves just like this one, but they're still rising. And um, when they're ready, I too will take that pan and put it in the oven, 375 degrees, for about 20 minutes. When it comes out, I will come back and show you the finished product. Here we are. The bread has baked. It's taken actually 25 minutes instead of 20 minutes this time. Um, and once the bread come out the oven, you can tap it. It should sound hollow. Or you can just use a thermometer. It should be at least 200 degrees inside. And there you have it. Two out of the four loaves of French bread that were baking for the freezer. Thank you for tuning in.